calls you to, may, verse 12, May the Lord cause you to increase and abound in, what, in love what for one another. Let me read you this definition of love. It's, it actually, the love is, it's the kind of love that uh, gives without expecting anything in return. That's what Jesus did when he died on the cross. That love, the agape, agape. Come from the Greek word agape. There's philos, agape, and philos, um, eros, which is a sexual love. Uh, uh, philos, which you get Philadelphia with, is a, a brotherly love. There's a fond affection. But then agape is, that, is the love that God has for us and that we should have for one another. It's a self-giving love. That love that genuinely loves one another. That genuinely gives of themselves to whom? To one another. To each other. That shows it in practical ways. That shows that you are a genuine believer of Christ. If Christ is living in you, His love should be flowing in you and should, flowing around you. And it should be showing love in practical ways to each other and to others. Not only to each other. I'll give you an example. What are some fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Galatians chapter 5. Again, that's the Word in your heart. But when you go to a gas station and the guy gives you a, um, and he pumps, a, a, he went a little bit over, and, he, and, and, you get, and you get miffed about that, or you get upset about that, do you, you, do you get angry with him and say some bad words, or do you say, thank you, have a good day? Or you're in a grocery store and the person in front of you is taking a long time. They have a lot of groceries and you have places to go and things to do and people to see. And you get a little upset and get antsy and you have to go. And you said then you get and then you end up getting an attitude with the cashier. Rather than as a believer in Christ, the love of Christ in us does what? We'll say, and you tell the, the, the cashier, saying, you have a great day. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And she may have had a rough day. And that word, and just a word of encouragement to her, can what is showing what? Is showing the love of Christ. You see, you see someone in need, and maybe you have the financial means or a material means to be able to help meet that need, being able to do it at the moment, if you have the means to be able to do that. That's showing the love of Christ. Making that phone call when you know someone's suffering or have a heartache. That's showing the love of Christ. That's being patient with them. It's the little things, folks, that show that we're believers in Christ. People need that. And especially in our world today. You know what, how our world is. You hear our note, uh, how our world is. We see it every day. We live in it. We hear it on, the social, on social media and on the news. We know how our world is. It's a crazy world, and people are mean. They're mean, folks. Huh? But we need to be against that. We need to be folks that are the antithesis of that, or the opposite of that. We need to be folks that are kind, that are loving, that are generous, that are faithful, that are encouraging, that are being built up and building each other up in the body, but also in the world. Because that's how people are going to know that we're genuine Christians.